Hello everyone, this is Arthur Robinson Jr. I am the creator of PowerfulInterviews.com. I want to welcome each and every one of you to this powerful video. In this video, you're going to experience life-changing information that you will not find anywhere else. I'm doing an incredible interview with a great friend of mine. His name is Al Fury, and Al Fury specializes in business credit. So in this interview, you're going to hear exclusively about What's the difference between personal credit and business credit? You're also going to hear about how you can get $1 million of unsecured revolving credit. You're also going to hear in this powerful interview what our trade line credits are and much, much more. So right about now, go get your pen and your pad, sit back and relax, and write down some notes. In this interview that I'm going to reveal to you with my great friend, Al Fury in regards to how you can get business credit. This interview is going to change your life. So check it out. You are experiencing a life-changing, powerful interview, and you are hearing it first from Arthur Robinson Jr.'s PowerfulInterviews.com. Good evening, everyone. This is Arthur Robinson, Jr. I'm the creator of PowerfulInterviews.com. And tonight, I have another special interview for each and every one of you. Tonight, I have a wonderful person on the call, and he's a great friend of mine. His name is Albert Fury. And for those that don't know Albert, let me explain to each and every one of you about this incredible, powerful man. Albert Fury is the author of his powerful book, Business credit in a nutshell. Albert Fury used to be a powerful infomercial producer, and he was involved in the software developer for the Apple Macintosh computer. Albert Fury is a leading authority in the business credit industry. And that is an awesome resume. Without further ado, I'd like to welcome the one, the only, the powerful Albert Fury to the call. Hi, Arthur. Glad to be here with you. Well, I'd like to thank you, Al, for taking time out of your busy schedule to educate me and the listeners worldwide about business credit. I gladly appreciate it. Glad to be here. Go ahead with your questions. Now, what I'd like to know, and can you educate the listeners worldwide in regards to who is the powerful Albert Fury, how long you've been in your powerful industry, and what is your specialized expertise, and can you break down the lamest terms so the listeners fully understand what is the difference between personal credit and business credit? Well, gee, that's a bunch of questions wrapped in one. So if I if my answer runs too long, feel free to interrupt me. But uh, uh, you know, a brief biography uh, is that uh, you know I I was uh, I was drafted in the army back during the Vietnam War, and I worked my way up into officer school, became a commissioned officer. Uh, when I got out, uh, fortunately, I got out in one piece. Uh, I went to work for uh, uh, for a real estate developer while I was going to law school. Uh, after about a year or two, uh, I ascended to vice president of that real estate uh, company. And uh, about a year or so after that, I broke off into my first company of my own, uh, an investment and mortgage company. Uh, operated that company uh, uh, for uh, a period of time uh, with about 35 uh, employees running around in, in uh, blazers and matching uh, Jeep Wagoneers all over town. Uh, and actually that made me a millionaire when I was 27 years old. Wow. Um, I ended up selling that company and I moved on to, uh, to start and build and sell uh, two other companies. Uh, I won't bore you with all those details unless you want me to go back and, and talk about those. But that experience, building three successful companies and ultimately selling them, uh, gave me a lot of experience with raising capital, managing people, uh, buying and selling, attracting customers, marketing. Uh, I developed quite a resume, and as a result of that, I was approached by uh, um, Robert Allen, who uh, then and still now is one of the nation's leading real estate seminar uh, hosts, 
and he asked me to join his tour, going around the country, speaking to audiences of two or three thousand people at a time on various subjects such as real estate development. Uh, also during that time, um, because I was uh, getting to be well known, I was approached by Apple Computer, uh, who at that time was in their infancy with the new Macintosh computer operating system. And at the time, they didn't have much of a software library for businesses. Uh, people looked at Apple as kind of a game computer or a computer for school children, and they didn't think of it as a, as a hard work and business machine. So they approached me and asked me if I would help them design business software for the Macintosh. Mm. And, uh, and so I did that. I worked with them in the development of a program called Mac Invest. Uh, another one called Mac Inc., uh, another one called Mac Trust, uh, and then uh, a number of uh, special applications for the medical field. Um, and I even went on tour with, uh, with a raft of different uh, seminar promoters promoting the combination of the Apple computer with the software that I had developed for real estate investors. Uh, and uh, that did extremely well. But along the way in that process, it seemed like most of the questions that I got from the audience seemed to point me towards uh, how do I get out of uh, the rut that I'm in with my, with my credit and how do I raise money to start a business or how do I raise money to invest in real estate. And so I started to specialize in that area because I'd had a lot of experience with it. And eventually that led me to the formation of the Business Credit Association of America which is dedicated to just helping entrepreneurs and business owners solve their business credit problems and raise capital. Also along the way, I, I acquired a licensed California private post-secondary school mm. uh, that, uh, that taught a variety of subjects, including real estate development, uh, real estate licensing, foreclosure trustee courses. Um, we had about 20 different courses, and that's now morphed into my present school, which is named Fortune 500 University. So I've had that school since 1980. And uh, we teach people distance learning and on the Internet uh, a whole variety of entrepreneurial subjects. So uh, now, to the second part of your question, what is the difference between personal and business credit? And it's a world of difference because personal credit, as everybody knows, is what enables an individual to uh, buy things on credit. Uh, sometimes it, it helps them get a job. Sometimes it helps them get admitted to schools and programs. Uh, you know, good credit, uh, personal credit is, is an excellent reference for what kind of character you are. But it has its limitations. For example, if you have excellent personal credit and you walk into the bank and you say, uh, I'd like an, a, an unsecured loan, uh, they'll say, certainly, Arthur, uh, we've looked at your credit. Your credit is great. Uh, here's a credit line of ten or $15,000 or maybe twenty five dollars or $30,000 because they know that your needs probably aren't going to exceed that for your personal needs. They know that you're going to use that money to take your family on a vacation to Europe or you're going to buy jet skis for the kids or maybe you're going to pay one of the kids way through college. But you don't need hundreds of thousands of dollars or millions of dollars uh, to fulfill your personal needs. So you've got some real limitations on personal credit if you're going to use it to launch yourself into business. However, if the same Arthur walks into the same bank with the same personal credit score and said, uh, hey, I'm here as president of Arthur Incorporated and uh, I have a business credit resume and a business credit profile and I have a Dun & Bradstreet rating, which is a business's version of a credit score and uh, I'd like